So the baby just woke up. That's we were nice. literally just about to start our first YouTube video ever. And this, I'm not even kidding, the second I was about to hit record, the baby was laying right here and she pops her head up, starts looking all around. So we figured we'll just put her in it. Yay. And you can say hi to everybody too, right? Say hi. I'm Louie. I'm Mandy. And this is Alessia. She's six months old. And she's the best little grumpy thing that ever happened to us. <laughs> What's with the grumpy face, huh? Mwah. So we had an idea to start a YouTube channel for quite some time now. Um, Mandy's from Germany, and I'm obviously from America. And we met, I don't even know, when was that again? March 4th, 2016. 2017. <laughs> oh, yeah. Days we'll never forget. I forgot. Yeah. And of course I forgot. I know. I had to change my shirt, feed the baby, okay. and here we are, back again. So we were going to tell them how we met? Yeah. Okay. Um, long story short, I came to America because... What? <laughs> <laughs> funny. Long story short. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I have to okay. deal with. Yes. That's what I have to deal all day long. It's making fun of my language <laughs> It's skills. just funny. I know it's not your first language. It's just cute. That's no. all. It's cute. Okay. Okay. So how we met? How we met? is and um, I came to America as an au pair, had a job, came to New Jersey and yeah I thought let's um, join some platforms, you know there are like all those dating platforms I didn't really think about it as much and thought let's meet some American people because I wanted to like get more into the American culture not just like hang out um, with the other au pair so I joined um, the platform where you had it set to look for both guys oh, yeah, and yeah. girls. Yeah, so I joined the platform and then we basically matched, right? Like, we matched, I think, it, right when I came, a couple weeks. Okay, well, my story <laughs> I had just gotten out of rehab, which is a separate video in itself. We'll talk more about that at a later date. But I was basically just surrounded by men 24 7 for a year straight. I was in a year long program. So you can understand my hormones were probably uh, through the roof at this point in time. So as soon as I got my phone back, I basically Ooh. joined every single dating app imaginable. I mean, you imagine it, I was probably on it. I don't exactly know what I was looking for at the time, but I was definitely looking for it. Um, so basically she was like the one of, literally one of the first people that I matched with on this one, this one app. And I talked to her for a little bit, but then I was like, this girl's not even from like this country. Like what? Where's this gonna go? Like, what's the point? So like, we exchanged Snapchats, and we kind of kept in touch, like, yeah, you know, like, like for a couple weeks. You know those people you just like have, and you just like, I don't know, it's like so random. Mm -hmm. You like don't even text with them, but you still like kind of do, you know? Yeah, like she would respond to like a story of mine on yeah. Snapchat. I'd respond to a story of hers. We sent it to each other, but we never talked or anything. Yeah, we had a plan to meet up one time, and it didn't work out. And I think we were both just kind of like, eh, whatever. Yeah, but, I didn't think anything. Yeah, I started about. dating around at that point. I had like a couple people I was like dating at the time, and it just wasn't working out. And uh, did was, you? I did. What? <laughs> really? Not while we were like talking. We weren't talking. That's the point. <laughs> Until we met, I didn't. It wasn't dating anybody else. Oh, okay. So, anyways. All right. Yeah, and then I don't know. It was so it was so random. But the one day, um, I wanted to go into the city, and then you were hitting me up and saying, "What are you doing today?" Or oh, well, "What are you doing Saturday?" or something. And I said, "Well, I wanted to go into the city because that's where I spend my weekends mostly." And then he said, "All right, I'm coming with you." And I was like. I was kind of like weird out. No, because at no. first you were like, oh, I don't think I want to, I don't know what your intentions are because by that uh, time all the guys, that? yes you did, I remember, I have a, I'm like an elephant, <laughs> I remember everything. Because all the guys on the dating sites were like hitting her up like crazy things, so she was kind of skeptical, so she was like, oh, like I don't know what your intentions are, so I was just like, I don't have any intentions. I was like, you're from a different country, I want to just go to the city with you, like get to know you, I think it would be cool, like. I wasn't even really like looking for a girlfriend anymore at that time. I was kind of just over it. I was just kind yeah, of just because, going like, with the flow. And you know, like the most guys' intentions are, and that's like annoying because if you just want to look for like people to hang out with, and then you always like get those weirdo guys who just want that one thing, and you know. Yeah, which is probably how I was at one point. Like yeah. when we first met, that honestly probably how I was, because so I think I'm, I'm just being real. So I, I think know. that's a reason why we didn't go out. All right. So anyways, that was on a Friday that and we were talking. 
and she was and it just, was through Snapchat. Remember, we didn't even we didn't even have each other's number. Yeah, true. Was, I didn't even have like your number crazy. yet. Yeah. So you're like, well, I want to go to the city tomorrow. So if you want to meet me at this train station at 3:30, I'll go in with you. So I was like, all right. I was like, that works. So I literally just drove to this train station, and I'm just waiting for her. And then she comes walking up, just like short little. I didn't even know what she was. <laughs> Italian, German. I didn't even know what she was. Did you just say short little? <laughs> short little. Dude, <laughs> that's what you were. Come on. Anyways. I'm still short. Anyways, so yeah. she came over to me and we said, what's up? So we took the train into the city at that point, talked the whole train ride there. Well, um, yeah, you mostly talked, <laughs> like always. Well, I asked you questions. Yes. I didn't was, talk about myself. No, you're very nosy though. Well, and, I know one thing I noticed too was she had a cross around her neck and that's very important to me and because I'm a, I'm, I'm a Christian and that's one thing that I was always looking for in a woman was another Christian because the Bible talks about being unequally yoked and. It's not good. So I asked her, I said, do you believe in God? And she's like, yeah, I do. And that was, you know, a plus for me. But we talked the whole way there. No plans as to what we were going to do in the city. We just got there. It was and literally freezing. Yes, it was so super freezing. Then we were like, do we walk into, I think we, we walked to Triana. No, it was not. There was March. No, no, this was March. Okay. Yeah, that was another What time. did we do? We just walked around and said we have to go inside somewhere because it was so super cold and I didn't know what to do really in New York City. I mean, I know they're like touristic things, so I just said, let, let, let him decide what to do. And yeah, I think I just was like, looked on my phone and there was a Dave and Buster's bias. So we just went to Dave and Buster's and we hung out and it was actually a really nice time. Yeah, we got first something to eat and then we were hanging out playing games and of course they're loose. Yeah, and so basically though, the first time we ever met, we wound up spending like 12 hours together. She came back to my house with me after that. I don't even think I dropped you off until like three in the morning. I know. And we just basically like talked all night. Yeah, that's what we did. That was our first day. And since then, every single weekend we spent together, like literally, like every single weekend. Yeah. We hang out, weekend. we were hanging out, we did like fun things. He like showed me around different places. That's what we do, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now here we are with the baby in the background who was crying. Yeah. Hey! Wanna get him? Hi, Lizzie. Here she is. You're back. back again. You're back. Say hi. Just Say hi. hi. I love you. <laughs> All right, so long story short, that's basically how we met. We don't want to get too in details. We don't want to drag this video out, but we figured we would uh, start a YouTube channel. Yeah, we just started because I get a lot of questions on Instagram, just how is it living in America, especially with an American husband, and we have a lot of cultural differences, and you know, yeah, we just try it. We both got stories to tell. I've been through a lot. She's been through a lot. So yeah. we're going to have a lot to talk about. And yeah. Oh, definitely don't be so hard on us because that's our first video yeah. and it's, everything is a little budget here and we don't really care what anybody thinks anyways no so. no just so just give us some like um tips and tricks how we can like change something on this video now on this first one so we know it for the future um, and don't forget to subscribe like and hit that notification bell <laughs> <laughs> i always want to say that i always want to say that too no all right and we'll see you later <laughs> no, and um, yeah, but that's it, I guess, right? That's it. See you next video. Peace out. You wanna say bye? Come on, say bye real fast. Say bye to the people. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>